वी आर अगेन बैक विद दी न्यू टॉपिक इन सीमोस डिज़ाइन रिलेटेड टू दी मॉडलिंग ऑफ द नॉइस इन मॉसफेड एंड द हाई फ्रिक्वेंसी डिज़ाइन ऑफ द बी जे टी मॉडलिंग नाउ लेट एस स्टार्ट विद दी फर्स्ट टॉपिक ऑफ मॉडलिंग ऑफ द नॉइस सोर्सेज इन द मॉसफेड नाउ वॉट बेसिकली द नॉइज इज नॉइज इज अ टाइप ऑफ अ अनवॉन्टेड सिग्नल दैट एक्चुअली एटीनुएट्स और रिड्यूसिस द स्ट्रेंथ ऑफ अ सिग्नल नाउ इन द सिमिलर मैटर मैनर इफ यू टॉक अबाउट वर्किंग इन द मॉसफेट कंडीशंस तो मॉसफेट इज ऑल्सो एफेक्टेड बाई द नॉइस नाउ हाउ द मॉस मॉसफेट इज एफेक्टेड बाई द नॉइस देर आर टू टाइप्स ऑफ द नॉइस दैट आर इन द सर्किट दैट एफेक्ट्स द मॉसफेट दीज आर द थर्मल नॉइज एंड द फ्रिकर नॉइज थर्मल नॉइज इज एसोसिएटेड विद द कैरियर इन द चैनल्स नाउ वी हैव द कैरियर्स द कैरियर्स आर एसोसिएटेड विद द थर्मल नॉइज एंड सिमिलरली देर इज अ सेकेंड टाइप ऑफ अ नॉइज कॉल्ड एज अ फ्लिकर नॉइज फ्लिकर नॉइज इज एसोसिएटेड विद ट्रैपिंग एंड रिलीजिंग ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉन इन एस आई एस आई ओ टू इंटरफेस नाउ फ्लिकरिंग मीन्स दैट इट इज एसोसिएटेड विद द इलेक्ट्रॉन दैट इज ट्रैप्ड इन बिटवीन द सिलिकॉन डाइऑक्साइड एंड सिलिकॉन इंटरफेस नाउ नॉइज कंट्रीब्यूट टू द ड्रेन करेंट नाउ बेसिकली दी वट ड्रेन करेंट इज द आउटपुट आई डी इज द आउटपुट फॉर द मॉसफेट सो देयर द नॉइज इज एट्रीब्यूटेड टू द ड्रेन करेंट दस इट कैन बी मॉडल एज ए करेंट सोर्स बिटवीन द ड्रेन एंड द सोर्स नाउ एज यू कैन सी वी हैव डिजाइन ए मॉडल्ड ए मॉसफेट मॉसफेट विच इज डिपेक्टिंग द नॉइज इन दी फॉर्म ऑफ द करेंट सोर्स नाउ दिस आई एन इज रिप्रेजेंटिंग द करेंट मॉडलिंग ऑफ अ नॉइज एज ए करेंट सोर्स बिटवीन द सोर्स एंड द ड्रेन द थ्री टर्मिनल्स आर डिपेक्टेड देयर गेट सोर्स ड्रेन एंड एज एज द नॉइज इज डिपेक्टेड इन द फॉर्म ऑफ द करेंट सोर्स बिटवीन सोर्स एंड द ड्रेन नाउ द थर्मल नॉइज करेंट इज वाइट नॉइज विच इज इक्वेटेड एज एस आई डब्ल्यू इज इक्वल टू इन द ओमिक रीजन फोर के टी डिवाइडेड बाई आर एफ ई टी एंड द सिमिलर मैनर इन द सेचुरेशन रीजन द इक्वेशन ऑफ द थर्मल नॉइज इज गिवन बाई एट के टी जी एम डिवाइडेड बाई थ्री वे टी इज द टेम्परेचर इन कैलविन के इज द बोर्समैन कॉन्स्टेंट एंड जी एम इज द ट्रांसकंडक्टेंस इन द सिमिलर मैनर इफ वी टॉक अबाउट द फ्लिकर नॉइज इज गिवन बाई द इक्वेशन एस आई एफ इज इक्वल टू टू के एफ के डैश आई डी क्यू सी ओ एक्स एल स्क्वायर एफ हैज द स्पेक्ट्रल डेंसिटी ऑफ द नॉइस करेंट सोर्स आई एन एस एन इज इक्वल टू एस आई डब्ल्यू प्लस एस आई एफ दिस इज द टोटल नॉइज ऑफ स्पेक्ट्रल डेंसिटी फॉर द मॉसफेड वेन यू डिस्कस अबाउट द मॉडलिंग ऑफ अ नॉइज इन द मॉसफेड दैट एफेक्ट्स योर ड्रेन करेंट नाउ नाउ द नेक्स्ट टॉपिक वॉट वी आर गोइंग टू टेक टूडे इज द हाई फ्रिक्वेंसी मॉडल फॉर द बी जे टी now in the previous class we have discussed about the high frequency model about the uh, mosfet and here we are going to discuss the high frequency model of the bjt now as uh, already you have discussed that for the uh, mosfet we had a small signal model then with a small signal model we have discussed about the large signal model for the high frequency now oh, this basically bjt high frequency model is made it uh, into consideration made into uh, made uh, taking into consideration consideration of the capacitances now how frequency model of the bjt model is made taking into consideration of the capacitances the capacitances are of two type which are operated in the bjt bjt is operated with at least one junction forward bias bjt usually when we operate the bjt when the uh, voltage is applied to it then at least one junction is forward bias in the bjt thus we model thus we model a junction a parasitic junction capacitance under forward bias now from this it is comes that when you are going to make a region in a forward bias there will be a parasitic junction capacitance developed under the forward bias the parasitic capacitance junction is represented by cj the junction capacitance is represented by the equation 2n cj not a to n vf divided by 5v plus Uh, 1 minus n. This is the equation representing the junction capacitance. Junction capacitance equation in the forward bias, where V F is represented by the forward bias of the junction. So this one of the factors, the of the capacitance is the junction capacitance that is introducing 
uh, that is introduced in the high frequency model of the BJT. Now, the second factor comes by uh, designing of the analysis. Now, analysis of the parasitic junction capacitance in the different types of the transistor, if you take a vertical section, if you take a lateral section. Now, here in the uh, di diagram given below, we have shown two types of the section. One is the vertical NPN section, one is the lateral PNP section. We are depicting the collector emitter base region in the vertical NPN. In the similar manner, we are depicting the base, collector and emitter region for the lateral PNP region. Now, you can see that we are having the, the capacitances that are developed between the collector emitter base in the form P base, CBC1, there is a capacitance developed between the uh, base and the collector in the uh, vertical NPN. Then we are, uh, there is a capacitance developed between the base and the source of the body. Then there is a cap capstone developed between the uh, uh, source and the substrate of the body. Then in the similar lateral PNP section, we are finding three different capacitance which is marked by a capacitor shape CBC1, CBS1 and CBS1. The ABAC di diagram depicts a different type of the capacitance developed in the transistor that affect the transistor at high frequency. They are CBE, CBC, CS1, base emitter capacitance base collector capacitance and the source capacitance in the vertical NPN section in the first half of the figure. In the similarly, in the second half of the figure, you can see that CBC1, CBS1, CBE1 in the lateral PNP junction, base collector capacitance, base substrate capacitance, base emitter capacitance. These together are called as the junction capacitance that affect the model of the BJT in the high frequency circuit. Now, the second type of the capstance is due to the majority charge carrier accumulation in the base region under forward wire. Now what we are saying, it the second type of the capacitance is due to the majority charge. Now majority charge movement will be there and due to the majority charge movement there will be a carrier accumulation in the base region under forward wire near emitter base junction. So that is also a parasitic capacitance that is developed between the base and emitter region. The capacitance is modeled by the equation CAC is equal to TF ICQ divided by KT which will be represented as because the uh, GM transconductance is the rate of the change of the current. So we are uh, configuring it as TF uh, into GM that is the transconductance. Now TF is the forward base transistor time, ICQ is the collector current that also it is equivalent to the leakage current in that CAAC is the parasitic capacitance of the total base emitter emitter capacitance. Thus, we have got two type of the capacitance that affects the uh, high frequencies of the BJT. First one was the junction capacitance that was developed and the other one what we have got is the parasitic capacitances that is developed in the BJT. Now, we will uh, combine both these capacitance with the small signal model of the BJT and we will get the high frequency model of the BJT. Now, let us look in the next figure. The equivalent high frequency BJT model is, as you can see that we are having the base, emitter and collector. Three regions are shown there. After uh, shown, uh, showing, we have uh, depicted the different type of the regions which were the current source and the voltage source we have shown there. And with that, a small signal model of the transistor, we have reduced the different capacitances that were developed uh, in the uh, in the cross section of the NPN transistor. This figure depicts the high frequency small signal model of the BJT. Actually, this is uh, calculated using the Miller theorem equation. What was the uh, part of your previous semester? If we will apply the Miller uh, theorem equation, we will get the different equation related to that. But the, uh, uh, for uh, with respect to our uh, uh, circuit diagram, we are getting the high frequency small signal model of the BJT by using the different types of the capacitic model. Thank you and we will meet with the last topics of our uh, chapter by tomorrow. Thank you and have a nice day.